Oftentimes when I photograph landscapes that have a water element to it, I like to use neutral density filters. This helps blur the water in the scene, but it sometimes has a side effect, and that is adding a blue color cast to my photos. This photo is a great example of that. The scene looks a little dark to my taste, but the color is way off. It's way too blue, and I need to fix this using white balance. So I'll jump over to the light tool, and I'm gonna start out by clicking on this little eyedropper here, and I'm gonna drag it over my image. I'm gonna find a spot in the image with a neutral color, and the skies in this photo are likely going to be gray. So I'll click, and it automatically corrects the white balance for me. I'm gonna leave this as is for now. I can always go back and make adjustments, but I don't really know what those edits need to be until I adjust the exposure. So I'll go back to the light tool, I'll increase the exposure slider. I wanna make sure I don't go too far with this because I might blow out some of those highlights in the sky. The details in the structure on the left are still a little too dark, so I'll go down to the shadow slider and move it to the right, and that really helps boost the light in the image. I lost a little detail in the sky, so I'm gonna to go to the highlight slider and move it to the left to try to recover some of those details. This is looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna continue editing to make a few more adjustments before I'm finished. I'll go down to Enhance AI, and I'll take that Accent AI slider and move it to the right. I'll toggle the before and after, and you can see that really did a great job of bringing out even more detail in both the structure as well as the sky and the water. Everything is looking good here with the light and the color, but I'd like to use Structure AI to bring out some of the details in the shipwreck. So I'll activate the tool, I'll increase the amount slider while watching my photo. I don't wanna to go too intense with this because I still want the water to look nice and smooth. Lastly, I'll finish with a vignette. So I'll go down to that vignette tool, I'll take the amount slider and move it to the left. I'm just watching my photo. Sometimes when I use this slider, I like to push it all the way to the left and then I can jump into the advanced settings. That way I can really see the changes I'm making with the advanced sliders. Take that feather slider and increase it. This helps to soften the vignette. I'll also take the inner light slider and move it to the right to add a touch of brightness to the center of the image. Now I'll go back up to the amount slider at the top and make that vignette less intense. I really like how this photo turned out, especially when I added that structure tool. It added a nice element of kind of a bit of sharpness without overpowering the softness of the water.